Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 22 of We the Revolution. Day 10, Act 3, and we are going to look at our minor cases today. Hope we don't die. A prostitute working in a brothel run by Gaetan de Lille and Paul Blondeau was beaten to death and thrown out of a cart in the middle of the street. We did not learn anything from her colleagues, but once of her but one of her regular clients told us that she wanted to stop working there. We are certain that her bosses are responsible for her death. Mm-hmm, okay. High on powder, Dovera Mart Roussel fell asleep literally in the middle of the street, causing much traffic commotion. When she finally regained consciousness, she explains that her tooth had been killing her, so she took a big dose of the medicine. Oh, well, I'm not gonna kill her for that. Jordan Maitre, 76 years old, had a fight with his wife of the last 52 years. Angry, he went to a prostitute. He was seen walking with her to her apartment. The accused claims that nothing happened because he lacked physical strength. His wife supports the accusation anyway. Nice. Um, no. Laurie Edouard, the wife of cobbler Timothy Edouard, told strangers that she does produce that the shoes produced by a rival cobbler would fall apart after a few weeks. She cried during questioning, claiming that her husband had forced her to do it. <sighs> nah. Carole Bissonnette has been hiding a priest, Yvon Dubois, in her attic. He refused to take the oath and has been banished from the country. We accuse Bissonnette of deliberately acting against the revolution. I think if I, I mean, she belongs, she, she's one of the common folk, so I guess the revolutionaries won't be too happy if I let this slide. Ah, oh, but I don't want to kill her for that. No. Oops. Oh, no. In order to save on water taken from a well or a fountain, Baker's Francin and Josette Bruguier is you used water taken directly from the river in the bread baking process. The bread smelled just fine and her customers suspected nothing. However, a sudden increase in digestive issues in the vicinity led to the discovery of their crime. Ugh, okay. No. What? Oh, damn it, I'm going to be fired again. No, I'm not. Huh, cool. More barricades. I'm sorry, father. What should I... I can't even go to the theater with you. Okay. We got some troops. That's good. So now we have to defend this one. Well, then let's hope. Oh, are you kidding me? 71% effectiveness? I'm gonna die. Okay, maybe... What the hell? This is huge. Okay, I'm just gonna go on defense and... Hold on as long as I can. Well, we lasted pretty long. I didn't expect that, but we rescued more than we lost, so that's certainly good. Okay, well, no, this is still full, so I can't even do anything with these guys here now. Nope. Well then, I hope that I made the right choice when, in who I placed there, so... Let's hope. Oh, 
one more day. So if we keep just one more day, then it should be good, right? No cases at court. Tonville has disappeared. The jury did not show up. Everyone is looking for a dark nook of Paris to curl up and hide in. Do not expect any cases to judge. Not as long as Paris is under siege. Oh! A day off! We never had those in all of those acts. So let's build some more barricades. Oh god, I hope I don't lose this now. Haha. <laughs> <sighs> Relief troops did not arrive in time. We have to hold out a little longer. What? Okay, maybe the relief troops will never come and we will just die in our capital. So our garrison is still full, right? Damn it. We are really I'm going to lose this. Ah. The physician treats your injured troops and provides a bonus to health points. Remember, if the troops die, the physician dies with them. Okay. Um. Okay. Yes, nice. We survived one round. Um, okay, one of our cannons is gone, but gladly we have now enough to restock our troops. I think we should do some. Okay, could work. I hope they just don't come again with cannons or something. More cannons, that would be bad. Oh well, now I got a new cannon, but hey, how am I supposed to use it? Rat plague, what? Paris is overrun with rats that are spreading an unpleasant skin disease. People are angry and their productivity has decreased drastically. Almost everything in the city is dead, so I don't know how much productivity we need here, but well. So we can't do anything here. Let's just hope we, we don't die. Although I suppose we will. Although they don't have any cannons, so... It's something.
Okay, another round survived. Okay, so now we can... What? What's happening here? Oh, yes! Do you know that young soldier who came to the rescue? His name is Napoleon Bonaparte. I don't know him, but that's not important. I won. Paris stays in our hands. You won. I never wanted to take over the city. I've just introduced you to your new dictator. I won. People will greet Napoleon with open arms. The new will come, only to forget about you and once again flood the country in blood after a hundred years. At this very moment, the new is entering the city, leading an undefeated army. I won. Not as long as I'm alive, no. I have a pistol on me. Why don't we settle which one of us is favored by God, Cain or Abel? The favored shall kill the loser. Shooting him in the head. You thought that the revolution will free you, but it was nothing more than a wish. What the hell? What is it going? What is it with dicing with my brother? Come on, can we just play normal games without having my son's hands or my life at stake? Seriously, you could just ask if you want to play dice. So, how many rounds are we playing? Is this even. How can we. Oh, well, I'm just gonna reroll. Whatever. I'm so over this. Can we just... <sighs> Seriously? We just did all of this just so in the end we could dice for our lives again and lose and then our brother kills us? What? Come on. Of course we're going to lose now. I guess even if we win... In the end, it would just it would it would just say, "Oh, hey, let's." Oh, no, no, it was round one of. You two. have all believed in this romantic rebellion. Tell me, how did that revolution differ from what we are doing now? I honestly don't care anymore. It is so obvious that he will win anyway, so... Did she not become a fight to the death? A chaotic game with only one currency, Chance. Yeah, fine, shoot me, whatever. Come on, bring it over. It is time for us to die, brother. Tomorrow, when the morning rain will wash away the traces of our crimes, people will return to killing each other, explaining that there is a new revolution. So that was it. That was we the revolution. We died in the end, like I predicted. 
Although it was the second prediction that we get murdered. I have to admit that in the end it got a little bit tedious. As in all those fights, they took a long time. Maybe also because I decided to play uh, to play them on my own. I don't know. There is something about the end that I am not satisfied with. I don't know. There was just something that didn't make me quite happy. I mean, I think it was... I think it was obvious in the episode when our brother first came into the picture that I wasn't really happy about that because it just felt so cheap and it just felt so forced because I don't know, no one expected the brother and all but then suddenly he's here again and he was the puppeteer so although no he wasn't the puppeteer because the puppeteer was someone else who we never really who we never really paid closer attention to in the whole game so i don't know maybe that was a death experience buried here, Mother? I don't know. Nobody important, I suppose. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I liked the end. So I liked it that... Not that... We just diced for our lives again with our brother. That was a little bit, I don't know, over dramatic. I like the message though that, it, I don't know, we just did a lot to change the history in the country, in the whole, in the whole country basically, and it didn't really matter too much for us in the future. So Alexis Fidel, as we saw in the end, wasn't a renowned person or something like that. He wasn't celebrated as a hero, although we, I don't know, we continue to live because the puppeteer said we we need to be the hero that no one appreciates, I guess, and maybe that's what we were. I kind of have problems with finding the words now to this because, I don't know, like I said, it, it, it felt a little bit tedious in the end with all those f all this fighting. Also, I think that with this whole trial of your wife and your brother and all this intriguing against us and manipulating us, it was in the last few days, it was so forced upon you that you were the one who would do all the things wrong and all that and I felt like the game didn't really do, um, the game really didn't really make a difference in what you did, in what you, in what your decisions were, because your wife um, said that you didn't spend time with your family, you didn't care about your family, all you cared about was power and Maya and so on. When personally, while I played it. I didn't feel that way. I think that this whole trial from your wife is supposed to make you feel guilty because then you also realize what you did to your family and all that. But to be honest, I don't feel like I spend that much time gambling and drinking and because almost every day I went home and spent time with my family or I sent him to construct a statue, but that's another thing. And maybe it would have been more hitting to my feelings if it really was that way that I played it, but I didn't, so I didn't really connect to this whole accusation of her that I didn't care about my family. Because I feel like I tried hard to please everyone in the end. That's a little bit why the Mathilde case um, annoyed me a little bit too much than it probably should have it is the whole point of the game that you have to make the decisions that you probably feel bad about and 
I think the, the story that I feel bad about the most is of, um, is of Sylvie Pash, who we killed because we drove her to murder someone. If we didn't interfere, if we hadn't interfered with her affair, her affair wouldn't have blackmailed her. Of course, we couldn't have known that she would do that. We gave her the advice to leave the town, but she didn't do that and instead blackmailed her and so Sylvie killed her and then was on trial for murder which of course we had to declare her guilty because she was guilty I would have liked to know if what would have happened if we hadn't killed her because at some point we had I think that all those important persons like those um, intrigued, intriguing uh, victims and all we had to kill them at some point. There are some cases that you could have never spoken them innocent without upsetting the jury. Because there were no questions that would make them look less guilty. I really, I liked the principle of the game a lot. It was a nice game. I liked the artwork too. I enjoyed playing it. There were some um, questions in there and some decisions you had to make that, I don't know, you kind of didn't want to have to make but it is also kind of interesting to see and I suppose it's also apparent in the videos that f from time to time so the longer I played it the, the easier those um, decisions came to me so like in the beginning I never sentenced anyone to death and then I had to and then it was just like Okay, you die, you live, you die, you live, you die, you live. Okay, with all those short cases. In the beginning, it was like far more um, disturbing for me to just decide with those five uh, sentences or something that was in front of me if someone should die or live. And in the end, it's just like becomes something you don't really think about it anymore. There is a lot going on in my mind. I, th I think I have some more thoughts maybe about the game, but I don't know if I can articulate them right now or if I could articu articulate them well. Well, I guess that's it. I mean, I hated the brother plot twist. I, I'm i also not really... I'm not a big fan of this... No, I think it's... <laughs> no, this whole gambling for your life, this whole dicing for your life is so stupid because it was so obvious that we would be killed because we would lose. Or, I don't know, are you... Can you win? I suppose not. I mean, seriously, doing... Playing dice on the, in a computer game, how can this not be rigged? I was anticipating that we, that, fit, that Alexei would die in the end. Maybe that he would be judged for whatever he did. It would have been nice if then, on the other hand, we would be on trial. Oh, that would have been so cool. If we would have been on trial and then we would be sentenced to the guillotine as well. Because that would have been so much more impactful if you stand there behind the stand and you're getting asked about what you did in a, in another from another perspective because then you're not the judge anymore and then another judge is looking at what you did and then it would look so much more horrible than what we think we did we think was right or just so it would have been such a cool ending if we would have been on trial that would have been a cool ending and i would have loved it that would have happened but no we got to play dice with our brother once again and then die so but i guess yeah the message was true now we fought for this we fought this fight those three acts we fought against something and for new ideals just to be killed and but still other people will keep killing each other too and then there's this there's, it just doesn't stop so and in the end alexi fidel stayed someone unimportant but hey, at least we got buried, so something. It was a great experience playing this game. Thank you for joining and thank you for experiencing this with me. Um, yeah, so any opinions you have on the game, please write them in the comments. And I will see you in my next project, although I don't know when or what this will be. But hey, we'll see what comes our way. So again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.